We are ah! so excited to have you on Best Friend Energy today. You are vice president of fitness programming and head instructor at Peloton. I mean, wow, that's yeah. major. You are a masterclass instructor, a New York Times bestselling author. You recently founded the Lifestyle Membership Club in Web3 called Swagger Society. And you have another book coming out this fall. You have also run, this is shocking to me, 27 <laughs> marathons I mean, and ultra marathons. Robin, welcome. We are so oh excited God. to have you. Robin. Robin. <laughs> I'm dying. I love being here. This is so great. <laughs> Obviously, you have so, so, so many qualities that make you an incredible, inspiring instructor. And Joanna is inspired by you every day. Um, so I'm going to kick it off to Joanna to to fill you with all the love that she has yeah. for you. Okay. I won't get weird, <laughs> but I just need to tell you, <laughs> you are so fabulous. Like, you are the reason I got on the Peloton bike and Aww. stay on it, honestly. I look forward to your classes so deeply, even when I don't feel like exercising. I'm like, she's going to make me in a good mood. And this is <laughs> so, uh, you're so much more than an instructor though. You're so inspirational. You're so real. You're so honest. You're so inspiring. It's just, you are a package of happiness and I, I don't even have words. You're, you're incredible. Oh my gosh. Thank you. What a welcome. No, <laughs> I need to have y'all with me everywhere. <laughs> we, will, we will be your hype women where, yeah. whenever you need us. So I will get into this. I have my fitness journey, which uh, no spoilers, but there isn't one. So I am not, I, I'm not great at exercising. And Joanna has every day for so long, she's been like, you just like, let Robin guide you. Like, let Robin, <laughs> just let Robin in. inspiration. Just let Robin in. And I, now this is my first moment that I'm yeah. letting Robin, She may, maybe I'll be influenced to, to actually <laughs> oh. exercise. What do you do if you don't feel like working out on a day? Like, how do you push through that feeling? So I'm pretty good at assessing, is this just an I don't feel like it? Or is this like, I need sleep. I need fuel. I haven't had, you know, like there are like basic needs that mm -hmm. if we haven't met them, there's no like just push through. You know, I, I don't believe in just redlining, you know, uh -huh. um, but I also don't placate the lowest vibration of my energy. Like I just don't indulge it. It doesn't yeah. matter usually if I don't feel like it unless I feel like it's like, okay, mental health, physical health, like we need a pause. Mm -hmm. But that happens pretty rarely because I'm pretty dedicated to how I fuel, how I sleep. Like my entire life is optimized mm -hmm. for my energy levels and my health because it it's my career. Right. So um, are you it's kind careful, of my job. Are you a careful like what you eat and like what you put into your body? Super careful. Yeah. I'm a plant-based athlete. I've been plant-based for almost 10 years. I'm plant-based adjacent. I love it. There's yeah, so many ways. To Robin, <laughs> she's a little, again, she's a little iffy. She loves milk chocolate, <laughs> milk chocolate, butter, and some cheese on pizza. So I wouldn't Listen, exactly I say. am like completely judgment-free. I, 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 I want people are. to fuel intentionally. Uh, truly. Like if that means that your diet looks the opposite of mine. Yeah. I mean, I would say like maybe throw in a vegetable now and then, but like oh, yeah, I, I, I really, yeah. I just want people to notice how they feel after they eat. Like. Yeah the vast majority of folks are completely unaware, like the mm -hmm. le feeling lethargic, bloated, GI issues. Like that's not just, that's just, just like casual Wednesday. Like that's something to pay attention to. You know what yeah, I mean? Right. So, um, yeah, I really, I say I fuel for greatness and yeah. I listen, I baked cookies with my daughter yesterday, you know? So it's like, it's yeah. not that I'm like, oh my gosh, that has a carb or, or sugar. I'm yeah. so not like that. But I know that my energy levels and the way I'm going to optimize every next level of my life is going to be how I'm moving, how I'm fueling, how I'm treating my mental health. Um, and that really, really matters to me. And so I obviously talk about this and I've written about it and I'm a you know professional in this regard, but I don't practice what I preach. I preach what I already practice. So let's talk about your upcoming book. It's a motivational journal called Welcome Hustler and Empowerment Journal. Love that title. I yeah. feel like everything about that screams you. So I, yes. I love that. Uh, what was the inspiration for that book? And, and tell us what it's about. My own journaling practice was the inspiration for it. So it is infused with my journal prompts and lots of blank, enough blank space for obviously somebody to like right. put in their own life into it. Yeah. Um, so I like that it's, you know, 
sometimes the blank page can be really intimidating. Mm -hmm. So there's enough of a framework built into Welcome Hustler that literally came from the pages of my journals. There are questions I've asked myself. There are inspirational quotes that I have said and come up come up with. Um, so it's meant for somebody to jump around, rip it apart. Like, I don't want you to be precious with it. I want you to throw it in your bag and pick it up when it calls to you. And that dynamic relationship, I think, with the written word makes it a little less intimidating. Mm -hmm. That's and so smart it, I, because it is intimidating. A blank book that just has lines is intimidating. It can mm -hmm. be, yeah. And I've definitely had that experience. So I wanted to – so thematically, it's about – self-care. It's about optimizing the next level of our lives. It's about introspection. It's how are we physically feeling, how are we emotionally emotionally feeling, how are we spiritually feel, feeling, and different little prompts to kind of unpack that. I've also included, you know, prompts for letters to different versions of ourselves, mm -hmm. like past versions of ourselves and future versions of ourselves and ways to really get creative and fuel our dreams. Like I really want this to unlock creativity and and spark lights and fires in people's lives. So Welcome Hustler is a journal for um, literally anyone who wants to achieve another level. I love that. I've I personally have had a lot of hard time journaling in my life, you know, like prompts I think would really help me. And I, I mean, we've written books, but I have a hard time journaling. Like, I don't think that the two are necessarily like it's a different skill set. It's kind of like running and walking. I have so many unfinished dear diary things from when I, you know, so many. There yeah. was like, dear diary, today I had da da da. And then when I released myself from this idea that needed to be this long form expository essay, right. uh, my journaling practice now is actually two minutes or less. It's literally mm -hmm. two minutes before I go to bed. And sometimes I'll pick up on like a prior prompt if it needs to be fleshed out. But oftentimes it's like, you know, a little gratitude moment or it's a brain dump or it's just something. And then I find that even if, if I, even if I only give myself two minutes, it's, it's cathartic in its own way. Is it like I your mean, own little mini therapy? Mm -hmm. For me, well, it again, is. I think it goes back to, and we have something called the home edit. We have something called the low bar lifestyle. And I think you have some of that. I mean, you are not low bar. No, but she's like, not. <laughs> She's the op she's the high bar. But I think she the reason that she transcends to so many different kinds of people is because she gives everybody like a pass just be. And you know, just starting is enough and whatever you did that day is enough as long as you're honest with yourself. And I feel, you know, I think it sounds like the journaling thing is sort of it picks up on that where it's just like here's the prompt, just do what you can with it, that's enough. Of course. The stories that we tell ourselves are tough enough. Like, mm -hmm. I, you know, I feel like we're so tough to our to ourselves within between our own ears. Mm -hmm. We don't need like <laughs> more no. scolding. No. You know, I just want to provide frameworks and education and, and m multiple entry points for all the things that I love. And, um, you know, any anything that I'm creating, any brand that I'm partnering with, like that has to be the meta message because mm -hmm. I just I, I don't believe there's any other way. Thank <laughs> you.